As mentioned in a previous lesson, Word displays the document name along the top of the standard toolbar. Since we haven't saved this document yet, the generic document1 file name still appears. Let's save this document to a new folder on your computer. You can either click the Save button on the standard toolbar, or on the File menu, click Save. Notice that Word inserts the first line of the document as the file name. To give the document a different name, just type over the selected text. You can use spaces, numbers, lower or uppercase in a file name, whatever makes sense to you. The Format pop-up menu lists all of the available file formats that you can save a document in. For example, rich text format, plain text, and PDF. For this document, let's use the default docx word format. As you can see, the file extension, which indicates the document format, is already appended to the file name for you. DOCX is the standard document format for both Word for Mac and Word for Windows. The WHERE pop-up menu lists the most common and most recent folders you have saved documents to. To save a document in a folder that's not listed, or in a new folder, click this button. Then click New Folder and add a folder called Word Practice in your Documents folder. Finally, click Save, and you can see that the new file name is added to the standard toolbar. When you're done working on the document, you can click File, then Close, or click the red Close button in the upper left of the document window. When you close a document, you might notice that the word menu bar is still visible. This is because you close the document, but not the application. To quit Word, you can click Word, Quit Word. Before we quit Word, let's look at a couple of ways to find and open the document we just saved. First, click File, point to Open Recent, and here's the document. If the file you need isn't listed here, you can click More, to open the Word document gallery that we saw in the first lesson. And then look here under Recent Documents. Select the document, click Choose, and you're ready to make additional edits. So those are some of the basic tasks and skills that you'll use when working with most Word documents. Want to learn more? Be sure to check out Help! and the Office for Mac website for additional videos, tutorials, and content.